Power Director 18 has been released. And it's only been released in the subscription base people that have actually subscribed. I noticed it today when I booted up my Cyberlink. And there it was. Everything you seen was Power Director was updated to 18. Director Suite. Um, Photo Director. Color Director. Audio Director. They've all been updated. Now from what I can tell. So far from what I know is there's a one-to-one -one ratio for video now where you can actually record video in small squares. Um, I did test the EOS R Canon camera because I have that. Before I couldn't edit 4K video, I used to have to convert it in handbrake. But I did test it and I did put some 4K in from the EOS R and it actually lets me edit the video. So that's awesome. So I don't have to convert when I actually make 4K video. And I'm sure it's going to work for a lot of other people. Now at the same time, I did test um, Photo Director to see if it would edit the raw files from the EOS R, which is in a raw 3 format. And it didn't. It didn't even recognize them. So they have not done anything with Photo Director to work with the raw 3 files from the Canon EOS R. And that's sad because that would have been nice because that's my main camera. So who knows, maybe in the future we'll see other things. Now they haven't released any specs yet, so I can go through the specs and see what's going on. All I've noticed is if they put this out there, everybody's going to go and upgrade. So if you are running the uh, 365 subscription base, you might want to boot that up and update your uh, programs here and get that done. But as soon as they release something, probably tomorrow, I'll pull it apart. I'll take a look at it and I'll take a look at what are some of the things they've done. What are some of the things they haven't? And uh, I'll rip this apart and take a look at it. At any rate, guys, if you're running the subscription base on 365, then you might want to boot it up and upgrade all these and get that done. Catch you guys on the next one.